Hey, hey, it's your favorite Godzilla collector. Nah, I'm kidding, but I hope I am or I'm going to become yours. Anyway, how y'all doing? I appreciate y'all being here. It's your boy, Dewan. And uh, what you see in front of us um, is an older release, but, you know, I'm deciding to break it out of its shell finally. Um, so, if I know this right, I believe these initially came out, uh, I don't know if they came out the year that the movies came out, like Final War, this is obviously Final Goji. And that's obviously Kiru, no mistake in that. Um, I don't know if these originally came out like, like early mid two thousands, um, but I know that they got re released because like I would see them flow around eBay, and they would be like around seventy, eighty bucks, and then on the back of the box. It has the year 2019 on it, and I don't remember if I got these in 2019 or I believe I got them in 2020. 2020, I didn't. I don't think I got them last year in 21. But the ba back of the box is 2019. They were at Target. This is, I think, one of the last, as you can see, Bandai symbol um, in the corner. I think it's one of the last Bandai releases before you know the rights got switched to Playmates. And you recognize him because at Target, at least mine, he is definitely overstocked with the new gray plastic version. There's obviously a black vinyl. And I actually like both versions. And I will do another video that will just be separate of this. And I'll compare them and you can see them side by side. I don't know where it's at. And then also I don't know if I want to fit three in one video. Um, so just spread the content out. And these two definitely pair together um but yeah this one has been you know produced on the playmate side and then it has the same you know type of uh well i think they first had it in this box and then they changed it to the the newer playmates you know packaging uh if i had a box near me to show y'all I have a Kong one back there. I'll show you on next video. Um, and then there's the new Tohu series, which has the Shin Godzilla and to the Terrestris that I just showed y'all. And I've also seen the smaller Final Wars Godzilla and the Rodan that was featured with Gorosaurus last year. Um, all have the new Toho series box. Um, so yeah, the he goes for 25 These two I got in the same uh, store, same uh, location. Target uh, collectible wall. And these were $30 apiece. And I jumped on them as soon as I saw them. They had uh, them a little bit uh, circulating all last year. Man, all last year, but the middle and early part. And uh, sorry, I do a lot of talking. But those of y'all that care about the info... Appreciate y'all still being here listening. Um, yeah, they, they have a lot more final Godzilla. I don't know why Playmates hasn't done a Kiru. Not sure exactly. Maybe they will. Um, but yeah, like I said, these are originally released over a decade ago. Maybe even close to two. Then they got brought back again in 2019. And it's one of Bandai's last, I think, reproductions they have before Playmates took over. And um, so, yeah, they were at Target. More than likely, probably the only place you're going to find them is eBay or, you know, stuff like Macari, maybe even offer up. And I don't know what prices they go for, but retail price in store, $30. Who knows if there's random ones in the wild that are still there? <coughs> Excuse me. Um, so I snipped the zip ties on the bottom so I can just pull them out easy. You don't have to deal with that in the video. Uh, let y'all take a look at the packaging closer. It just says Godzilla, 65 year anniversary. You know, it's got 54 to 2019. So that definitely confirms when this came out. Because, you know, we're now going into Godzilla's 68th year. Um, 
So the side just says Godzilla. The back shows both figures uh, out of this uh, giant figure series. Uh, you know, they're the only two 12-inch uh, produced ones. I believe there's a Gigan Final Wars, but he hasn't been resurfaced since the original release long ago. And I think there's one more, or it's just those three. I'm not too sure. Um, so yeah, you can see the figures on the back showing you the other possible what you get and then obviously Same as with Kiru same exact Plain packaging. I'm not too, too big a fan of this uh, Packaging that Bandai did and even NECA had early on when they had the clamshells, but it's not too bad I mean, it, it's you know It's I guess you know It is what it is it's uh, not my cup of tea, but it's not completely boring. But I like uh, the newer ones, especially the Toho series. So, I love Kiru. I do not like Final Wars Godzilla. But I do love the figures, and his face isn't quite accurate to what he looks like. And I think he looks pretty awesome. But I think we will go Jira. And, oh, he just breaks right out. So, you can see he just... Red box. Um, I'll just set this over here. And uh, so, let's slide Kiru to the side. And so, this is like completely vinyl. His tail is a bit squishy. It's like hollow with air. Tail is in three segments. Looks like it can come apart. So, you know, nice simple articulation. That one doesn't quite rotate. I don't feel like it just kind of wiggles. Um, Real basic, it's essentially just bigger version of the smaller figure. So you're familiar with the Bandai movie monster series and then what Playmates has been putting out. It's, you know, they're children toys. It says foreign up on it. But they're still decent enough for collectors, especially if you're on a budget. Um, so his arms at the elbows do some of that throwing action. And then his head swivel all the way around. But I don't want to do that. It's more so his neck. His head's attached. Um, and he looks kind of goofy head on. <laughs> but um, it's got, you know, very minimal paint job. It's got imperfections on it, but not too big a deal. He's uh, all black. And then his dorsals are white. Um, kind of grayish where the black and white meet. And his claws are mixed with black and um, yellowish kind of beige color. He's got some orange eyes, red tongue, and his teeth are still kind of like like, um, like yellowish. It's not like tan, but I guess it's just beige, cream colored. Um, so I think this is a really cool figure. It's cool to finally actually get to move him around and uh, give him some freedom. And so now, here is the close-up. And you see what I see? It looks kind of funny. <laughs> but not too bad. Um, but yeah, as you can see, it really doesn't look like Final Wars Godzilla that he's modeled after. He almost looks kind of like a hybrid of my favorite, the Kiru Saga, Millennium Gojira. But you can see the dorsals aren't the same. Um, see that long whipping tail? Yeah, there's some paint perfection there, some white paint. But letting y'all get a look. It's got cool textured skin. He's pretty hollow, squishy. Like I said, he's vinyl. Not like squishy, like real soft, but you can squeeze it and you can feel the air inside of it. But um yeah, pretty cool figure. Um I know not everyone's a fan of this, but I definitely like him. Segmented toes on his feet. Take a look at the tail. And I'd say voila. And Kiru actually going to fly. And so I was real excited about him because my absolute favorite version of uh, Mecha Godzilla. It's pretty fitting. My very favorite Godzilla uh, design. And. Mecha Godzilla design is both in the same movie. Obviously, Godzilla against Mecha Godzilla and Tokyo SOS. 
So Kiru, he's so cool. He even got his own name. He's referred to not just straight Mecha Godzilla. So his uh, arms rotate at the shoulder. Not really the th same throwing action Godzilla has. For some reason his legs do not articulate at all. They're just completely mobile and steady. His tail rotates. Got some very cool segmented dorsal spikes on here. See the wiring and his head rotates. So you're really not getting anything with him other than arms, tail, and head. And this one you get legs. <laughs> I mean, these are real minimal. Um, just cool toy figure to have. Whatever. He's uh, pretty much all a solid uh, silver metallic paint. He also is vinyl as well. He feels a little more harder and solid. He's like bulky and thick. So he doesn't feel as like, you know, hollow. Like if your kid puts this in the bath, definitely going to fill up with water. This one, maybe a little bit, not so much. There's not as much like breaks, I think, for it to get into. Um, so he's got the yellow eyes, he's got the red, uh, tear drops, essentially the marks under his eye, uh, red dot on the middle, um, horn, if you will. Wires got a little bit of black in between the coils. It's like a darker gray. His finger joints are like a darker gray. He's got the red triangle on his, uh, bicep. And yeah, so, you know, he too is minimal in color, but film-wise, he really doesn't have color either. So this is him without the cool jet, jet pack, well, essentially the machine gun attachment. Um, so yeah, it's got a lot of good detail, pretty solid figure for what it is. Uh, not super high-end, obviously. Um... So yeah, here we go. Let you take a look at him. So sick and awesome. I love Kiru. He's the best. Um, so yeah, let y'all take a look at that. Those cool dorsals. See his arm. And hope I'm giving y'all some good... Uh, analyzing time on this doing justice to what you get with the figure um, lots of detail on the bottom of the feet they could have just went plain but they didn't um, but yeah be cool if you to do a little bit more you know features to these with the articulation maybe his chest opens up or something but I should compare them with the the cool light up one I have, see the size difference on it. Uh, I don't know where he's at. Oh, there he is. You know, it looks pretty on par. You know what? Let's bring him in the mix. The more the merrier. It's a party. Uh, if I can get over here, I got everything blocked. Because I'm so disorganized. Okay. We're going to come through under here up close and personal. go and voila yes you remember if you don't yo they're literally identical in height he's slightly taller because he's standing upright this one's a little hunched but check out on the channel if you haven't seen this bad boy in action i don't think i styled the batteries in do i i don't think i do i probably took them out because i was worried about corroding or had to use them, but yeah, you can see, you could go with this, or you could go with that. You could go with this, or you could go with that. So, yeah, you can see side by side, you know, the quality, but the details are pretty on par, as you can see. Um, so, obviously, you get a little more depth in the color with these, because they actually different material with the coils and stuff, but... Still pretty cool. Um, so, I don't know where to put you at. I'm going to put you right here. 
you're gonna take over his box. No, I don't like that. He's not steady. Um, but yeah, essentially the same size. Whole lot better over there, but rare, more money. But yeah, let you see them side by side. I will get the Playmates final uh, Goji where they redid his head so he actually looks like uh, the final Goji. And uh, his color is even different. He's a hard plastic, but have them duel each other. Oh, Big kid action, yes. So, if you like the video, obviously like it. Atomic blast that like button, I should say. We're gonna obliterate it. Um, subscribe, please. Help the channel out. Spread the word. Comment. I like interacting with y'all. Uh, like always, been fun. Much love to y'all. Peace.